Fabi, welcome back to the studio. Congratulations, back-to-back -back victories and quite an important one with the black pieces against the co-leader, Hans Niemann. How does that feel? <laughs> I mean, right now I feel exhausted. I was hoping I would give you an interesting interview. Um, I was hoping to keep the trend up, but <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have enough energy for that. How come? Uh, did you feel disrespected in any way coming into on, today's round? On every level. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't really... I mean, it was a very difficult game, but it shouldn't have been because I got such a dominant position at some point. Um, Let's talk about the game. Uh, out of the opening, it did feel like... Okay, I don't know what he was preparing because I played this line in the last game against Hare Krishna mm -hmm. in the Olympiad, so... He seemed surprised. I mean, it's not like I had some new idea in mind. I was just repeating exactly my game. Uh, uh, Harry played e3, five, and we made a quick draw. Yeah. And it looked like Hans was somewhat surprised that I played this. So I, I, I don't know. Maybe he missed. Did you get to chat with him after the game at all? Uh, I don't discussed? think he wants to chat to with me anymore. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think we're no longer on chatting terms. <laughs> <I see. laughs> okay. <laughs> Queen c3, uh, rook d1, e5, and. You were mentioning that you had this prepared, and you were playing quite quickly. He wasn't. Were you surprised by that? Yeah, he was thinking. I, I was actually worried. I thought he might come to, to this game with some some prep. I didn't remember the line too well, and but I thought, um, anyway, I should play it and stay principled. And then, yeah, I played a rare move, bishop f5. I was hoping that even if he knows the line a bit, that this would be a, rare, uh, a, a surprise for him. Because bishop g4, I think, is the main move, or yep. if I remember correctly. Bishop g4, c6, bishop yeah. f5 is... There was this important game, Sam against Hikaru. It was uh, last year in, I think, the Rapid, um, St. Louis Rapid. And, and they made a draw. It was a very correct game, but black suffers a bit there. And here it's more of a, a fighting position. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he played a very surprising move, a4. I thought that bishop b5 is the correct move. I couldn't remember exactly. I think that was correct. I think bishop b5 was the correct move. Of course, white does have some freedom of choice. I mean, it's clear that white is uh, marginally better here. But uh, yeah, here I was going to play a6, take take knight d2. Mm -hmm. And I was not sure if I can play e4 here. One option. Ah, so you were out of, this, out of your book at this point. I mean, I, I have some like vague general knowledge, not very... I uh, don't didn't recollect it so well. I thought e4 was played in this game, bronze mm -hmm. it was and it looked very logical. But of course, it's a bit positionally risky. Maybe I'm just mixing things up completely. I think it was, I, it was after bishop b5, bishop b5, bishop b5 yes. rookie one, and now e4. Yes. Yeah, that's yes. a better version. Yes. Yeah. So this was the game, but I was wondering if I could instead of instead of this play c6, I was trying to figure out this position here instead of uh, bishop b5, c6. Yes. I thought d6 is forced. Mm -hmm. And here the problem is queen d6, he has not knight e4, but knight c4. And I can't go to g6. Because of knight takes, yeah. Well, rook d7. Rook takes d7. Yeah. So, so I was going to play, well, I was thinking about it. I wasn't sure I was going to play c6. But c6, d6, I was going to play queen g6. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I thought f3 is very logical. Rook c d8. And this position I was trying to figure out, it didn't look clear to me. See, the computer really hates it. I guess knight to c4 yeah, and try to get to e5 quickly. Maybe queen g6 is not accurate. Maybe rook cd8 first. But I, I thought that I should... Yeah, I wasn't sure I would do this, but I... Yeah, rook cd8 first. Ah, this is knight e4, queen g6, f3. I, I was looking for other move order, but maybe I get it here. And then bishop f5, I thought I should be okay. Knight g3. Yeah. And yeah, then I force him to take the bishop with h5. Mm -hmm. At some point he'll take, and then I just blockade his d pawn. And I thought, yeah, take, take. He plays... Yeah, and I also have some... Uh, h3 ideas at some moment. Mm -hmm. So I thought, I thought I should be completely fine here. Um, but then he surprised me. a4, I got very ambitious suddenly. <laughs> okay, he played c6 immediately, d6. And this is the move that surprised us, h3. Yeah, I didn't, I, I didn't expect gf3. I mean... Which was probably the best path forward at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. h3 come, came as a surprise. I was thinking... Some other move like queen b4 was interesting. I think uh, that was the best move in the position. Try to some pull some the sort of mess after e4 knight d4. Maybe he just saw a c5 here and thought uh, thought he shouldn't do this. Um, but yeah, take, but it take. doesn't work. Bishop g4 and d7 is hanging. Yep. But uh, I thought like if I take on e2 b6, his pawn is not so dangerous. Um, but yeah, uh, he was also getting low on time, so I understand why he started to play rather quickly, but but probably not very accurately. Mm -hmm. And he played h3, and 
this point it felt like you were slowly taking over, but he was still fighting. Yeah, it's something and maybe rookie six was inaccurate or something, because I thought I had a better advantage than what I got. Um, uh, maybe rookie D, yeah, but I don't undecided. think it's a huge Undecided difference. about which square to put the rook. Yeah, I think at this point, yeah, so it felt like you were completely done. Maybe King G7 right? was bad. I was no? hesitating. I thought King maybe G7 E4. Was... I mean, okay, it can't be a bad move, but F4 and I D4, I thought this... Yeah, queen f4, and now maybe I take, take and rook d6. Is this, uh, is this just winning? King e2, knight c5, I trade bishop c2. I wasn't 100% sure. Take, take and f5. Mm -hmm. But it's of course a bit difficult. Bishop d1, f5. He puts the king on e3. My pawns are on light squares. It might be difficult to win this. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't sure. And I thought, okay, I'll just make a safe move, king g7. And then he played a very good, good move e4, and it's suddenly difficult for black to, um, to handle this position. I mean, of course I should be winning, but the path wasn't clear to me. Knight b5, I, I was thinking, take rook d5, I mean, all my pawns are really, I'm really tied up. Yeah. a6, but I just wasn't sure after king g2 how I continue this. Yeah. And it's but, not clear at all, yeah. Computer yeah. says queen f4, but, I mean. Yeah, I was a bit worried that maybe this rook ending, endings. rook endings are very drawish in general, so I wasn't sure. Yeah, yeah. And you played queen to e7, trying to escape the queen trade, queen g5. And then you guys got into yeah, the Yeah, here I was, game. maybe this was inaccurate, but I was low on time. I just, I thought, okay, I'll create a pass pawn and try to get the f4 square for either my king or knight. Yeah. And it was this moment. Yeah, I should have played, of course, knight b6. I was trying, that's what I tried to get, but it was like the time control, so I thought, here, okay. Knight b6. Yeah, this, this is, of course, a better try than. And if he goes back to b2, rook to but here, e7. Rook e7, yeah. This is what I wanted, what I was going to do after the time control, but then he played f4. Um, if he played bishop a6 back, I would have gone to b6. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, this is... Took. And then this was the critical moment. Rook to e5, yeah, bishop to g4, knight, knight to c4. Ah, he's okay here. I thought I was winning, you know? Only with rook a6. Uh, yeah, rook a6. Um, I thought knight e3 is winning. King f2. Yeah, take, take, rook e4. Maybe king f3. This is a draw? Maybe even rook <laughs> takes e6. King g5, I don't... Some, yeah, I thought like king this. g4, rook g8, king f5 was winning. Ah, but he just has rook h8, yeah? Maybe rook h8, yeah. Okay, I mean, it's... <laughs> well, draw is like, you know, a two pawns kind of draw. Yeah. In time trouble, but... F3, yeah. But it, it is a drawn ending with, with the two pawns. Yeah. Um, I, I just didn't see this rook h8. I thought I'll get my rook to his side, and then his b pawn is less important than my three pawns. If I could keep all three, then I would win. Um, and he didn't yeah. probably assess it correctly either, uh, because he did play this move, king to g2, after a long thing, in fact, yeah. 15 minutes at I this think, point. I think he had a lot of time. I had like seven minutes, I don't remember what he had, yeah. maybe 25 or so. 22, and he dropped down to his last seven. Yeah, he went. He got equal with me on time. And then I thought maybe king g5 wasn't the most accurate. I was hesitating, like rook b8 is also very, very strong, I thought. But then I was like, okay, king g5 is more natural, let's... And I saw this whole rook a8, rook h8, and when I played king g5, I thought, yeah, rook h5, rook b5. Mm -hmm. And I was really counting on f6 here. Mm. <laughs> rook f4, yeah. knight d3, yeah. rook h4, rook h5, yeah. rook h5, knight f4, yeah. <laughs> king g4, take, we take. at this line. And, and yeah, and the king comes back after c5, but <laughs> then I was like, yeah, this is a draw. But I was thinking maybe king e6, f4, f5. But then he has king g6, which is a draw. F4, F5. Oh, F4. Because if C5, he just gets back. Yeah. And then King G6, take F5. And we get the C pawn, which, uh, yeah, can go somewhere. Which, I don't know, like some of these positions are losing, some are a draw. I assume the C pawn is actually winning mm. for black. Usually, like, the central pawns are, are better winning chances. But here, of course, the pawn isn't very far advanced. But, like, A and B or it's difficult to win, C yeah. pawn, you get some chances. Like D or E, if it's advanced, then it's just... Uh, Apparently it's winning. Yeah, yeah, the, <laughs> the, the central pawns are really hard to defend. But then I couldn't, like, decide on this. I had so little time. I mean, I saw that I could go for this, but it was... I thought, okay, the rook ending feels like it should be winning, but I was really unsure. Mm -hmm. And F4 and actually, surprised me a bit, actually. Yeah. It was a draw, but only with yeah, this move... Yeah, F4 surprised me. I mean, rook G1, I was going to play rook C5. I think rook g2 was the best move. I can't imagine. Why would... Yeah, that's a good ah, question. Ah, I understand. <laughs> okay, so rook g1, let's... Uh, I mean, 
Uh, let's try to stay within human understanding. So rook <laughs> of course. g1, sure. rook c5, I need to go, because I can't allow rook c1. You are planning on playing this one. Yeah, yeah, king g4, rook c2, and f4. I thought this was a winning take. King takes h3, but I wasn't sure. It's very, you know, his rook has to go behind the pawn. Yeah. But how he does that, I, I don't know. And, and it, it might turn into some sort of race. So. And he played, he made this final mistake. F4. And but I, you know, I wasn't sure this was winning. I mean, <laughs> it's like yep. it's easy, of course, when when you see the engine, but it's very close, very close to being a draw. I assumed he he thought it was a draw. Yeah. But yeah. It was... Fabiano, uh, plus two after four rounds. How are you seeing uh, the start to this tournament so far? How are you feeling about it? Well, it's good, but I, I am exhausted now. I, this was a tough game, and uh, the first three games I, I wasn't like under time pressure, but once you get a long game where you deal with time trouble, then um, then you really feel it, the tiredness. Uh, so, and I think tomorrow I play Wesley, which is a very important game. Big round tomorrow, we'll let you go get your rest and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations.